Hello. This is the Cambridge Flyers practice listening test. Test three. Part one. Listen and look. There is one example. This is a picture that I took at my friend's house. She lives in another country. I went to visit her there in the summer holidays. Which one's your friend? Jane, the girl who's playing the piano. She's got dark hair. Oh yes, is she good at music? Yes, she's a great singer too. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Who's the boy on the sofa there, next to the television? That's my friend's cousin. His name's David. What's he reading? It's funny, I think. Oh, it's just one of his comics. He's got lots of them. I can see out of the doors. Is that a lake in their garden? No, it's a river. Can you see Harry, the boy who's fishing there? Which one are you talking about? The one who's wearing shorts? Not him, the one with the hat. Oh yes, I see now. And the girl who's lying on the floor, who's that? Oh, that's Sarah. She doesn't like sitting on chairs. <laughs> What's she playing with? I can't see very well. She's not playing. She's looking at some pictures of her friends. Oh. There are lots of children in your friend's family. Oh, they're not all her brothers and sisters. Can you see the girl who's playing on the computer? Yes. Well, she lives in the house next to my friend's. Her name's Daisy. It was her birthday when I was there. You can see one of her presents by her shoes. Look. Oh yes. And there's my friend's mother, Betty. She's very kind. The woman who's turning on the lamp. No, the woman who's standing next to her, the one who's wearing the glasses. She often loses them. She takes them off and can't remember where she put them. <laughs> oh dear. Now listen to part one again. Who's the boy on the sofa there, next to the television? That's my friend's cousin. His name's David. What's he reading? It's funny, I think. Oh. It's just one of his comics. He's got lots of them. I can see out of the doors. Is that a lake in their garden? No, it's a river. Can you see Harry, the boy who's fishing there? Which one are you talking about? The one who's wearing shorts? Not him. The one with the hat. Oh yes, I see now. And the girl who's lying on the floor, who's that? Oh, that's Sarah. She doesn't like sitting on chairs. <laughs> What's she playing with? I can't see very well. She's not playing. She's looking at some pictures of her friends. Oh. There are lots of children in your friend's family. Oh, they're not all her brothers and sisters. Can you see the girl who's playing on the computer? Yes. Well, she lives in the house next to my friends. Her name's Daisy. It was her birthday when I was there. You can see one of her presents by her shoes. Look. Oh yes. And there's my friend's mother, Betty. She's very kind. The woman who's turning on the lamp. No, the woman who's standing next to her. The one who's wearing the glasses, she often loses them. She takes them off and can't remember where she put them. <laughs> oh dear! That is the end of part one.
Part 2. Listen and look. There is one example. Mom, Miss Wright at school is going to take some of us on a camping holiday. Can I go? For how long? It's just for three days. Oh, I see. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. When is this holiday? She's going to leave on June 6th and come back home on the 9th. Hmm. I must write that in my diary. All right. And where will you camp? On a farm. It's called Burley Farm. That's B-U-R-L-E-Y. Miss Wright wrote it on the board. Oh, I know. It's near the forest. We went there on holiday once. Do you remember? No. You were very little. But I have a few more questions. Okay. How many children are going to go? Only ten children, and there will be two teachers with us. That's okay, isn't it? Yes. What do you have to take with you? We don't need to take any tents. The teachers will bring them, but I will have to take a rucksack to carry things in. Okay. And what are you going to do on this holiday? Sports? Learn about the farm animals there? No. We're going to learn about insects. We're going to watch them, draw them, and take pictures of them. That sounds interesting. Perhaps I'll come too. Mom, you can't. You're too big. Now listen to part two again. When is this holiday? She's going to leave on June 6th and come back home on the 9th. Hmm. I must write that in my diary. All right. And where will you camp? On a farm. It's called Burley Farm. That's B-U-R-L-E-Y. Miss Wright wrote it on the board. Oh, I know. It's near the forest. We went there on holiday once. Do you remember? No. You were very little. But I have a few more questions. Okay. How many children are going to go? Only ten children, and there will be two teachers with us. That's okay, isn't it? Yes. What do you have to take with you? We don't need to take any tents. The teachers will bring them, but I will have to take a rucksack to carry things in. Okay. And what are you going to do on this holiday? Sports? Learn about the farm animals there? No. We're going to learn about insects. We're going to watch them, draw them, and take pictures of them. That sounds interesting. Perhaps I'll come too. Mom, you can't. You're too big. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Fred works in the town. He has to take food to different places in the town. Where does he take each thing? Fred, is the truck outside? You've got all this food to take today. Yes, I'm going to leave in a minute. I'll take these biscuits to the circus first. It's not far away. Perhaps I'll see some lions and tigers there. Can you see the letter D? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Drive very carefully. There's a lot of traffic today. I know. I'll take that box of pizzas next. But where must I take it? Oh, I remember. They're for the man who works at the factory. The one in Salt Street. Where is that? The map's in the back of the truck. Okay. And then I'll take these vegetables to Mrs. Cook. She lives in an apartment on that busy corner in town. You know, the one opposite the hospital. I'll have to carry them up a lot of stairs. 
The lift there doesn't work. Oh, dear. And where must you take this? Have you written all this down? Yes. The big bag of flour? Oh, that's for Mr. Card at the old science museum. He likes making bread, so he uses a lot of it each month. He phoned me yesterday. He said he needs it this afternoon. Can you make bread, Lucy? No, I've never tried. I just buy mine. Now, who's this for? What? This big box of chocolates. Someone's going to be very happy to get this. Oh, here's the address. I've got to take it to the airport. Oh, dear. That's a long way away. Well, I can have my lunch there, too, in the restaurant. That's a good idea, Fred. And here's the last box. Oh, yes, the pineapple jam. I mustn't drop that. The glass will break, and it took hours to make it. That's for Mrs. Hyde at the chemist's. It's her favorite, so she buys a lot of it. Now, is there anything else to take today, Lucy? No, that's everything. Good. Now listen to part three again. Drive very carefully. There's a lot of traffic today. I know. I'll take that box of pizzas next. But where must I take it? Oh, I remember. They're for the man who works at the factory. The one in Salt Street. Where is that? The map's in the back of the truck. Okay. And then I'll take these vegetables to Mrs. Cook. She lives in an apartment on that busy corner in town. You know, the one opposite the hospital. I'll have to carry them up a lot of stairs. The lift there doesn't work. Oh, dear. And where must you take this? Have you written all this down? Yes. The big bag of flour? Oh, that's for Mr. Card at the old science museum. He likes making bread, so he uses a lot of it each month. He phoned me yesterday. He said he needs it this afternoon. Can you make bread, Lucy? No, I've never tried. I just buy mine. Now, who's this for? What? This big box of chocolates. Someone's going to be very happy to get this. Oh, here's the address. I've got to take it to the airport. Oh, dear. That's a long way away. Well, I can have my lunch there, too, in the restaurant. That's a good idea, Fred. And here's the last box. Oh, yes, the pineapple jam. I mustn't drop that. The glass will break, and it took hours to make it. That's for Mrs. Hyde at the chemist's. It's her favorite, so she buys a lot of it. Now, is there anything else to take today, Lucy? No, that's everything. Good. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. Where does Jack want to go on his birthday? Jack, would you like to have a picnic on your birthday in the countryside? That's a great idea, Mum, but it might be a cold day. Can we go to the cinema and see a film? I'd like to do that. All right. Or you can go to the sports centre that day with your friends. No, I don't want to have my party there. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One.
Which film do they choose? There are lots of great films to see this week. It's difficult to choose. I'd like to see the one about rockets in space. That sounds exciting. Oh no, I think the one about the big fire and all the firemen is better. But some of your friends might be afraid. There's one about the dinosaurs. What do you think? Yes, that's the best idea. 2. When will Jack see the film? Can we go on Monday after school? That's the day of my birthday, so I'd like that the best. That will be difficult because Dad's got to work that evening. Let's have a small party at home that day. We can see your film the day before that, on Sunday, if you like. OK. And can I invite some friends here on Saturday too? Oh, I'm not sure. I'll ask Dad first. I think we're going to go out that afternoon. OK. 3. What time must Jack's friends come to his house? I'll tell my friends at school tomorrow to come to my house first. What time should they arrive here? Well, let's look in the newspaper to find out about the film first. Here it is. It starts at a quarter past five. So shall I tell them to come at quarter to five? Let's say half past four, because it'll take us about 35 minutes to get there. All right. 4. How will they buy the cinema tickets? You can get cinema tickets on the computer now, Mum. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Wow, that's good. But I'll phone the cinema to buy them this time. I want to speak to the woman there. OK, or we can buy the tickets at the cinema. There won't be too many people there, will there? I don't want to do that, Jack. 5. How will they get to the cinema? Are we going to walk to the cinema, like last time? Um, I think it's too far. You were tired, remember? But there are too many of us to drive there in Dad's car. Well, in a big taxi then. Well, that's quite expensive, but uh, OK, we'll do that. It's going to be fun. I love birthdays. <laughs> Now listen to part four again. 1. Which film do they choose? There are lots of great films to see this week. It's difficult to choose. I'd like to see the one about rockets in space. That sounds exciting. Oh no, I think the one about the big fire and all the firemen is better. But some of your friends might be afraid. There's one about the dinosaurs. What do you think? Yes, that's the best idea. 2. When will Jack see the film? Can we go on Monday after school? That's the day of my birthday, so I'd like that the best. That will be difficult because Dad's got to work that evening. Let's have a small party at home that day. We can see your film the day before that, on Sunday, if you like. OK. And can I invite some friends here on Saturday too? Oh, I'm not sure. I'll ask Dad first. I think we're going to go out that afternoon. OK. 3. What time must Jack's friends come to his house? I'll tell my friends at school tomorrow to come to my house first. What time should they arrive here? Well... Let's look in the newspaper to find out about the film first. Here it is. It starts at a quarter past five. So shall I tell them to come at quarter to five? Let's say half past four, because it'll take us about 35 minutes to get there. All right. Four. How will they buy the cinema tickets? You can get cinema tickets on the computer now, Mum. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Wow, that's good. But I'll phone the cinema to buy them this time. I want to speak to the woman there. 
OK, or we can buy the tickets at the cinema. There won't be too many people there, will there? I don't want to do that, Jack. 5. How will they get to the cinema? Are we going to walk to the cinema, like last time? Um, I think it's too far. You were tired, remember? But there are too many of us to drive there in Dad's car. Well, in a big taxi then. Well, that's quite expensive, but uh, OK, we'll do that. It's going to be fun. I love birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> that is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Let's colour this picture now, shall we? Look at the rainbow. Oh, yes. And there's lots of rain on the ground. The people are very wet. That's right. Look at the umbrella in the air. The wind is very strong. Can you colour it green for me? Yes, I can do that. It's easy. Can you see the green umbrella? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw and write. 1. What can I colour now? One of the people who are waiting for the bus? Uh, OK. Can you see the woman who's standing there? She's holding the child's hand. Yes. Can I colour her coat? Yes. All right. Make it orange. OK. Two. Are those swans on the grass? Yes. I think they're waiting to cross the road. Colour the bigger one, the one with the longer neck, on the left. Can I make it pink? Uh, no. Let's colour it yellow. All right. I like that colour too. They've got big wings, haven't they? Yes. Three. Would you like to draw something here? In this picture? Now? Yes. Can you draw a little cloud in the sky? Draw it there, just above the tree. OK. I can put one there. Shall I colour it too? Yes. Good idea. Colour it blue. That will look good. All right. I've got that colour. I'll do that now. Thank you. Four. And can you write something here, too? I'd like this road to have a name. OK. I can see the word street on the little low wall next to the shop. Shall I write it there? Yes. Write the word hill above that. All right. I can spell that word. Good. Well done. Five. Look at that man. Is he a pilot? Perhaps. I don't know. Well, can I colour his uniform? No, but you can colour his suitcase if you like. It looks very heavy. It does. You're right. Shall I make it brown? Yes. That looks great now. Thank you. Now listen to part five again. One. What can I colour now? One of the people who are waiting for the bus? Uh, OK. 
Can you see the woman who's standing there? She's holding the child's hand. Yes. Can I color her coat? Yes. All right. Make it orange. Okay. Two. Are those swans on the grass? Yes. I think they're waiting to cross the road. Color the bigger one, the one with the longer neck, on the left. Can I make it pink? Uh, no. Let's color it yellow. All right. I like that color, too. They've got big wings, haven't they? Yes. Three. Would you like to draw something here? In this picture, now? Yes. Can you draw a little cloud in the sky? Draw it there, just above the tree. Okay. I can put one there. Shall I color it, too? Yes. Good idea. Color it blue. That will look good. All right. I've got that color. I'll do that now. Thank you. Four. And can you write something here, too? I'd like this road to have a name. Okay. I can see the word street on the little low wall next to the shop. Shall I write it there? Yes. Write the word hill above that. All right. I can spell that word. Good. Well done. Five. Look at that man. Is he a pilot? Perhaps. I don't know. Well, can I color his uniform? No, but you can color his suitcase if you like. It looks very heavy. It does. You're right. Shall I make it brown? Yes. That looks great now. Thank you. That is the end of the Flyers Practice Listening Test 3.